everybody, it's Tammy. Um, long time no see. But anyway, 19 question survey. Um, she had someone to read it to her and I don't, so I'm gonna, I have notes. <laughs> uh, first question was, am I named after anyone? Yes, actually. I'm named after two people, sort of. Uh, if you remember Cleopatra Jones, uh, the woman that played her was named Tamara. So my name is partially because of her, <laughs> and then partially because I think it was uh, Susan Day, but some movie called Tammy's in Love that my mom really liked, so it's like a combination of the two, and my name is Tammy. Second question was, when was the last time I cried? Uh, that was last night. I was watching a uh, Akira Kurosawa movie, and it was uh, The Sea is Watching. I was sad, so I, I cried. I cry in movies. Um, any kids? No. Although, I kind of claim my cousins, because I live vicariously through her, and her kids are pretty rad, so they're mine too. I'm not saying I'm going to take care of any medical bills or, you know, expenses or whatnot, but, you know, if anybody asks, we look enough alike, they'll pass. If I were someone else, would I be friends with me? That's a stupid question. Yeah. I'm awesome. Duh. Uh, do you use sarcasm a lot? You think? Um, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, will I ever go bungee jumping? I, uh... That's gotta be bad on your joints. Like, I used to, you know, when I was, like, a teenager and whatnot, I was like, hell yeah, bungee jumping, yeah! But now I'm just kinda like, my knees are bad from roller derby and, you know, just genetically my tendons are super loose so being snapped at the end of the line kind of makes me think of those little toys that just go like this and then go back together like, like a slinky. Yeah, my body is not a slinky. You have somebody at the end of a rope, their bodies are going to go Whoosh. No thank you. I have enough trouble. No bungee jumping for me. And uh, I saw that episode of Bones where this couple was getting married and they bungee jumped and there was a dead body at the bottom and there was nothing they could do because they just kept bouncing towards it, bouncing towards it and screaming and no thank you. It's, I, I don't need all that. Um, <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, favorite cereal? Oh wow, there's so many options. Uh, normally I tend to just have a raisin date and walnut granola. Uh, but here lately, my favorite cereal is those uh, the honey puffed wheat. Uh, the unhealthy version is, uh, was it Sugar Smacks or Honey Smacks or whatever the hell call the one with the frog on the cover? I don't even know if it still looks like that. But uh, I eat the uh, healthy version that doesn't have like preservatives and corn syrup and all that crap in it. And it's delicious and I love it. Um, my favorite cereal as a kid was Cookie Crisp because my mom would let me just eat it out of the bowl. I didn't have to add milk or anything because my mom was awesome. First thing I notice about people, um, I'm tall, so I do notice height. Um, yeah, I'm six feet tall, so girl-wise especially, it's very rare to run into a girl that's taller than me. I have seen a couple though, and they were slightly frightening. Um, <laughs> uh, but really... The first thing I notice about people, it's more of a vo vocal thing. I, I notice voices. I have a strong attraction to certain types of voices, like certain pitches and tones. Um, and tattoos, I notice tattoos. Um, eye color is brown, sadly. I don't know, for the longest time growing up, I really wanted to have gray eyes. And I, I even had contacts for a while. But, uh, yeah, they're brown. Scary movie or happy ending? Scary movie. Um, sadly, most of the movies nowadays aren't scary at all. Um, for a while there, I was looking at Asian horror movies because, you know, things in other countries are usually not things Americans would consider frightening. And, you know, back in the day, would you think you'd be afraid of some weird Asian chick with long hair? No. But in every freaking Japanese movie, there's some chick with long hair that's going to kill you. No. But yeah, like, happy endings. They're all fine and great, but life doesn't normally work that way. Scary movies. A couple people die, a couple people live, usually. More lifelike, when you think about it. Favorite smells. I love the smell of the woods. I love the smell of 
when the rain's just about to come or just after the rain, just fresh smells, I don't know. Um, jasmine, I love all things jasmine. This candle, Yankee Candle Midsummer's Night, it kind of smells like uh, men's cologne, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, earthy smells. I do like the smell of patchouli. I'm not a big hippie or anything. I'm pretty close, but um, in moderation. I like the smell. Just the ocean. Smell the ocean, the sand. Like you can smell the sunshine. It, that's nice. Um, yeah, that's, I could go on and on about that. Um, the smell of my food cooking, because I'm starving right now. Computer or TV? I'm gonna have to go with TV on this one because I watch a lot of it. I guess, yeah, well, you know, with computers you can watch TV on there now, but I don't know. I, I love my TV. It's, it's pretty and large and it, it makes me feel happy and I want a bigger one. Like the size of this bathroom mirror, which would be lovely. Um, but yeah, I, I like TV. Furthest away from home I've ever been is. I'm gonna say Portland, um, and I love Portland. I would move to Portland in a heartbeat. I'd break my lease. I'd leave all my stuff behind, except my dog. Um, not gonna mention the cat, because, yeah, I love my dog more. And I would take my TV and my movie collection and my Buddhas. Okay, I wouldn't leave everything behind, but give me a free ticket, I'm, I'm gone. to go to Hawaii for my birthday and that didn't work out and I really 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 want to go on a tour of Asia and that didn't work out because um, I have responsibilities I hate being an adult <laughs> stupid responsibility but uh, yeah I think that's the furthest I've been to Vegas too but I think Portland is farther than Vegas or something I whatever special talents um, Ooh, we'll do the gross one. I can dislocate my finger. Um, it's not really a special talent. It got injured. It's easy to do. Um, <laughs> regular talents. I can play the clarinet. I played it for eight years. I make jewelry. I crochet. I'm teaching myself to knit. Um, I can hand sew like nobody's business, but that sewing machine in there, I may be giving to my cousin's daughter. She doesn't have a sewing machine already. Um, it's just a Singer Basic, so it's, you know, not the greatest sewing machine, but it's been used once, and you can freaking have it. I, I hate the thing. My only thing is you have to make all this, because I know you're watching this, you have to make all the stuff I said I was going to make and send it to me, because I bought a lot of material that, yeah, I'm, sewing machine is evil. I'm good with animals, I've done a lot of veterinary work. Um, what am I good at? Movies? I'm good at the channel surfing game. You, you know, just sit in front of the TV and just, my mom used to get so pissed. You just keep flipping channels and every single time she would stop for like two seconds, I'd name that movie. Really annoying habit. Um, I can sing, believe it or not. Um, a lot of people don't know I can sing. Oh well. <laughs> and you never will. Yeah, give me enough space. I'm a pretty good decorator. I'm good at color coordinating stuff. Um, I'm really, really, really good at bad driving. Um, although I did get a speeding ticket on Saturday. So I guess I'm not as good as I used to be. First speeding ticket in 10 years, though, so I've been getting away with it. Um, we'll make sure no judges see this. Um, <laughs> Maybe I should wait to post this until after I go to court. Um, <laughs> where was I born? I was born at MCV Hospital in Richmond, Virginia. Um, true story, I was three pounds, two ounces, uh, two months preemie. Every time I fell asleep, they would tap my feet to keep me awake and keep my heart going. I had lots of issues. Hobbies. Movies. Road trips thrift stores. 
um, walking when my feet aren't being ripped apart by my shoes. Um, hanging out with my dog. Making stuff when I, you know, actually feel like sitting down and making it. Um, reading. I love to read and go through a novel a day. Sometimes two if I'm not interrupted. Actually, I can read three if I'm not interrupted, but you have to account for food and having to walk the dog and... Yeah, okay. Whatever. Uh, pets. I have Vincent Price, my cat. He's a giant fat black cat. He's ridiculous. Um, if I'd known he was going to get so fat, I would not have named him that. Should have named him something else like Little Terror or something. He talks a lot. It's really, really, really annoying. I got home about half an hour ago and he hadn't shut up since I walked in the door. But right now he's stuffing his face, so he's quiet. Um, and my dog, my giant schnauzer Bailey, who I would call in here because he's the one that's always knocking the camera around. But he's at the resort where he stays because I didn't make it in time to pick him up. So he has to spend the night, which is costing me double what it was if he was just staying in daycare for the day. Whatever, he's having fun. And even though he doesn't live with me, um, my dog Maximus, he lives with my Aunt Ruby and my Uncle Jimmy. Maximus is a German Shepherd. He's like 75% Shepherd, 25% Collie. He'll be 22 this year. Uh, wow. He can't hear. He can barely see. He can't bark. He's very slow. It takes him a while to get up. And he's super skinny. And, but he doesn't seem to be in any pain, so we're just letting him rock it out. I miss that dog. He's great. He hates cats. So he lives with them. Um, siblings. Uh, I guess technically I have a brother. Um, he's a half brother on my dad's side, and I think I've maybe seen him four times. Um, which is funny because we live in the same city, and when I was in high school, we actually lived up the street from one another, but we're in different school districts, and I'm five years older. Um, but yeah, technically, I have a brother, but whatever. That's just technically. Um, for me, I consider that I have sisters. Um, I don't, they're my cousins, but, um, my cousin Rochelle, who is a border hammer, and my cousin Renita. Renita, Rochelle, and I were all kind of raised close together, which is why I consider them my sisters, and we're all two years apart, so, yeah, they're my older sisters. Keep me in line, um, for the most part. <laughs> uh, what do I want to be when I grow up? I'm already grown up, technically. I'm 33. Um, when I was little, I wanted to be a veterinarian, and then I decided I wanted to be a zoologist, and uh, last four years or so, I decided I wanted to be a nutritionist, and I even considered teaching kindergarten, because um, I love kids, but I want to teach them like art and stuff, but I suck at art history, because I can't remember a bad memory. Um, for dates and things like that. like I can look at a picture and be like, that's what this is called, but I can't tell you who painted it or what year it was done and all that crap. But I don't think kids need to know all that. It's just like, this is art. Here you go. Um, right now, I have no idea what I want to do with my life. Um, I'm just floating through day by day. Right now, I'm trying to find a jabby job so I can uh, pay the bills and whatnot. Uh, but... As far as I want to make out of my life, I just, I want to be happy. Um, which is a lot to ask, really. Um, I want to be a homeowner. I want to be a mom. I'd be happy with that. So, I mean, career-wise, I, I don't know, as long as it paid the bills, I don't really care. I'd like to enjoy my job, but in the long run, I just want to be a mom with a house and a yard silly but uh that's what i want but uh yeah those are the 19 questions hopefully that wasn't super super long and i hope everybody has a fabulous evening and has tons of good times until i talk to you next i'm gonna go eat now <laughs> thanks bye